What's going on, y'all? So we back again for another episode review of Sister Season 5, Episode 3, No Stress. Let me just say this. I could have watched American Horror Story. Is it on right now? Baby, that's what I could be doing instead of doing this review. I'm so sorry, y'all, because <clears throat> I'm, it's getting to the point where we're not even coming on here to actually talk about the episode and be like, ah, oh, let's kiki, 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 kiki. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally reviewing to show that I am annoyed. Like, this was probably, we only three episodes in, and this was a unnecessary, irky, I did not like the episode, okay? I really didn't. When I tell you, it dragged and dragged and dragged and dragged. The first beginning of the episode, okay? We get Danny, she comes in, and see, I don't want to do this on every review. Tyler, you got to pick this shit up. Okay, look at my face. Pick it up, bitch. Pick it up, okay? Because at this point, you just... <sighs> Speed it up, sir. Speed it up. Because at this point, I feel like we're not getting Sabrina nor more Reese out of jail up until like uh, uh, probably the season finale of season six, okay? Because we still in the same goddamn day. We are still in the same goddamn day and it just went to the next day at the end of the episode. So it's just like, mind you, we've been in the same day since season four. <laughs> okay. So it's just like, oh Lord. Danny goes over there to um see Andy, right? And I know y'all had an issue with the fact that, you know, uh everybody always just coming up into everybody's house. Ain't nobody got no, you know, respect to just open up people's doors or whatever. You know, nobody's knocking and all that shit. But in order to get up into the penthouse, you have to have permission and they have to let you up there. You know what I'm saying? So obviously Andy must have let her know that you can just come on up. Um be, or, or, or something like that because that's the only way that she would be able to get up into the penthouse without, you know, she can't get up there without any authorization because like the elevator opens right up into her house. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, at this point, she comes in there and of course she see Gary and her having sex and, you know, um, she didn't get involved so much that she didn't forget that she told Danny to come over. This is ugly. She didn't told Danny to come over whatever, uh, so that they could talk about Sabrina. Andy is selfish. At this point, that's just all I can say. Andy is selfish. And would I want to be friends with any of these girls, these characters? No. No. Like, I understand we all got our flaws. We all got our ways. But, wow. Okay? These women are literally for the pits. Okay? Um, you know, this scene, Gary runs to the bathroom and... You know, of course, Danny going to make it a big point to put out that they fucking, they didn't have sex on the counter, sex on the table, sex in the window. Oh, it's some titty prints. I said titty prints. Huh. You know, that made me stop for a second. I said, hmm. Okay. You know, and you, you ass prints on the, on the couch and everything. And on the one hand, it's her place. She could do what she want to do. But on the other hand, it's like, well... You told me to come over, so what do you expect? You know, that's why I'm here. You know, she was like, we need to talk about Sabrina. You need to get old boy to get the hell up out of here. You know, of course, talking about how big he is because he's Nigerian and all that stuff. Y'all, I can't even be funny right now. <laughs> I'm just so disappointed in the episode. I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I just was not feeling this episode. Um, And then, you know, instead of just telling him to get the hell out, Andy goes up in there and, and they... He, they they pillow talking and oh you want me to go you want me to go can i see you again can i do this can i do that i get the fuck out okay please just get out baby uh-oh okay i'm sorry y'all the fan is on, the ceiling fan is on, and it's drying out my lips. I already told y'all in the other video. I've been licking my lips too much, and so I got a little situation going on. Plus, I got eczema on my lips as well. So this is, I got to put hydrocortisone ointment. 
and y'all be seeing me putting shit on it. That's what I be doing. Oh, fuck that. Anyway, I'm sorry. What I was saying, I said, you know, please just get out. And see, this is why I have no patience with Andy anymore. And I feel like I never really did because maybe at one point, I did kind of feel sorry for Andy because I felt like, you know, maybe she was being manipulated. But no, it's both of them doing that to each other. It's both of them doing it to each other. You know, you tell him it's over, but yeah, you want to come, let him come over and come in you. So it's like, and then you're still giving him false hope that, oh, it's over. But yeah, you can come over and we can finish what we started and we can do this and we can do that. And why is he still thinking about Robin? Baby, I don't give a damn about no. First of all, we're not together, right? So if she want to have another man, have another man. But it's my time with you. So therefore, I'm thinking about me and you. I'm not thinking about no other nigga that's going to be up in here. Okay? He ain't even in the country. You know, why fuck the mood up even more by thinking about somebody else? See, that's, that's that insecurity. That's that little man shit. So, you know, he finally leaves. And, um, you know, Danny and Sabrina get into it about, or I should say Danny and Andy get into it about Sabrina. Like, come on, you have a contact that you're supposed to be talking to that's supposed to be giving us information about what's going on with Sabrina. We don't know. Oh, bitch, this shit is clear on my regular phone that I actually use. I be using my other phone. Damn. Okay. Like this HD shit is nice. <sighs> All right. But anyway, I be trying to save up space. That's why I don't record on here. But anyway, so I was just like, girl, just, just go check your contacts. Come to find out somebody had already been calling her. Yeah, I got to do a uh, Apple Senegal detox. I'm going to talk to my, um, oh, probably get some later. I'm so sorry. See how distracted I am? I apologize because that little length is bothering me. Um basically just go ahead and call the contact back because the contact person you know she did call and, and and try to tell her some stuff about sabrina but of course andy was in there getting her back blown in so therefore she did answer the phone imagine the phone wasn't even in there with her it was in the room so she had to get it she recalling and all this stuff and they just going back and forth about this whole situation so basically what we find out is that sabrina is in jail Sabrina is in jail. She's in prison. The next day we find out that she did go to the judge or no, they charging her. And at this point, you know, um, let me switch over to Calvin because Calvin, he goes to the little gay bar, or whatever that he always go to. And he sees Maurice homeboy, the white boy. And, um, he was like, so you didn't hear about Maurice. Maurice got locked up because Calvin, he has not heard from Maurice. Because remember, Maurice been calling Calvin phone from the jail, right? Either he's been calling Calvin phone or um, it's Sabrina. But I'm most likely sure that it's uh, Maurice that's calling Calvin. And he kept on hanging up on it like, who was this from the jail calling me? You know, and so if you you don't think your people going to be locked up or whatever. So, of course, you're not going to answer. And you probably think that it's a scam call, too. So I, I, I understood why Calvin didn't answer the phone. But apparently Maurice friend did and let him know, yeah, they locked him up because Quincy basically flipped on their asses and tried to put them up in jail and set them up. And so at this point, Calvin is pissed. Now, I just don't understand what Quincy, what Q thinks he's going to do with this situation. OK, so when Calvin goes over there. You know, and it was this back and forth between Calvin and old boy, whether or not he was going to go over there and beat his ass and all that shit or whatever. And then talking about some, yeah, I, I heard about what happened at the restaurant. I said, sir, shut up. Okay. Just shut up and go, you know, and he wanted no help. When I tell you, you're going to tell him, oh, I used to play football when I was up in high school before when I was in my boy years. I said, okay. So that means you can tackle, you could do some shit. No, no. He was acting like Calvin in the situation. You know how um they've been having Calvin act. He ain't act like shit. I just said, what in the world? Now, what is Quincy thinking? Okay. First of all, Calvin, I thought he was still staying there. So why is he, you know, coming in like he a stranger a little bit and uh, cute, cute. Okay. I said, boy, you see that door closed? Maurice ain't here, so go open up that door. And of course, he got a bitch up in the bed with him. And I'm talking about a, a, a woman, okay? And I, I was like, girl, do you know what he do? Do you know what he do? 
Okay, and you still gonna fuck him. And I'm saying like he robbing, scheming, he gay for pay and all this shit, like he a fraud and all that stuff. And you still gonna, okay. But, um, you know, to each his own. Um, he didn't get up in there, what you doing? You see what disrespecting me and you better lower your tone and all this stuff. And he was like, so you, you, you set up Maurice? It was like, what you talking about? Ain't nobody put Maurice in jail. And it was like, nobody said Maurice was in jail, right? You know, and it was like, you so fucking dumb. <laughs> this is what Calvin said to him, you so fucking dumb. Next thing you know, them two going at it. And he, cause Calvin told him to get the fuck out. And of course, Q is not going to get out. Q has nowhere else to stay. And this was his plan all along once he got out, okay? To stay up in that place. And, you know, he's about to squat. He's about to squat. But see, at this point, it's like, what exactly do you think gonna happen? Let's say Maurice don't get out of jail for the next couple of months or so. If Calvin ain't finna pay all that rent, um, um, I don't even know if Calvin's still staying there at this point, who gonna pay the rent? Who gonna pay the rent? Who gonna pay the electricity bill? Who gonna pay your phone bill? Who gonna pay the power? Who gonna pay all the shit? Who gonna pay the water bill? You know, if the if the apartment ain't doing it, but still, you don't pay your rent, they gonna cut that shit off. If it's if it's if it's controlled by the apartment, right? So like, I'm just sitting here like, Q, what are you doing? This is dumb. And 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 and, and of course they get into the fight, you know. And I will say, Calvin, you know, he he held his own because in the beginning he was eating them punches. He was eating them punches. He threw a few punches himself. He then they landed, you know. He tried to gouge his eyes and all that shit. I said, boy. You got to do what you got to do, Calvin. At this point, I don't expect much from you, but hey, it is what it is. You gave it a good old effort, you know, and um, he did what he had to do. And I was just like, you see, dude, you see uh, Q on top of him whooping his ass at this point, getting the upper hand over. How about you stop him, like get on him, kick him in the stomach? I mean, I'm, I'm not for jumping, but at the same time, this is Q we talking about, and he just put your dude up in jail. So whoop his ass, double team him in this place. You know what I'm saying? No, he just stood there. Stop, you guys stop fighting. And did you see when he broke it up and he put Q behind him and he stuck his butt out and Q said, get your ass off me. He was like, you know, I was just like, Ugh, what was the point? Calvin, like, I'll fuck you up if I find out you had something to do with Maurice going to jail and all that. And, um, you know, of course, Q was talking about something. He not leaving. I said, okay. All you gotta do is call the cops. Call the fucking cops. And then the, the boy said, he, the, the, the white boy that was with him was like, you need to just call the cops. And then Calvin was like, that's your white people. Dude. That's what you white people do or whatever. He said, nigga, you, you, you grew up with two daddies. Two white daddies. So what are you talking about? And I said, it ain't about no race. It ain't about no colors at this point. You see the foul shit that he doing, right? If you got to call the cops, call the goddamn cops, okay? Because I sure enough will have, you know? Um, His name ain't on nobody's lease. His name ain't on nobody's lease. Get his ass up out of there. And Calvin, your ass probably get kicked out too because your name ain't on the lease either. But shit, get him the fuck up out of there. Put his ass back on the street. Meanwhile, you know, Danny was trying to um talk to when she was over there talking to Andy and she wanted to get some more information. Um, She wanted to get it directly from the source, the uh, detective that arrested her. You know, Danny feeling a little bit of guilt because she was like, I saw the police coming in, the detectives and the FBI agents getting off the plane. Dude told me that they was looking into something. And it's just like, I should have said something. I should have said something or whatever. This is fucked up. And Andy was trying to tell her, don't talk to him. Because anything that you say right about now about this whole situation, it could further incriminate her unintentionally. Okay? And I was like, well, Andy, that's probably the smartest thing that you said this whole episode. This whole episode. Girl, if it wasn't for her being digmatized, we probably would have got a little bit more information on Sabrina already. You know? Meanwhile, um, we got that going on and Preston winds up calling her uh Danny. He ain't get on no plane, okay? He wanna meet up with her and I'm with Danny like, don't you got a bitch that you need to go marry? Like, what do you want with me? Okay? You over me. Cause if you over me for real, just let me know. It'll be cool. But all I just wanna do is I just wanna talk to you. Okay, we on the phone, talk. We ain't gotta meet up. We ain't gotta do nothing or whatever. Let's just talk, okay? What is it to talk about? All right. 
I, I, I'm tired of the merry-go-round. Do you want to be with me? Yes or no? Okay. It was so simple back in the day when we was passing those. Do you like me? Yes or no? Do you think I'm cute? Yes or no? Do you want to be my boyfriend, girlfriend? Yes or no? That's it. Baby, we need to get back to the basics, okay? Y'all playing goddamn games. Ain't nobody got time for this, all right? Um, and, and, and then he hung up in his face, as she should have, okay? As she should have. Meanwhile, um, this whole situation with Karen, I'm not even finna go too deep into it because it's the same shit. Her mama fixing her something to drink and, you know, um, making sure she okay. I'm going to just fast forward to the conversation where she was just basically saying, you know, you still in love with Zach. Because she was like, I had a dream that Zach came here. And she was like, yeah, he did come. You know, he was checking up or whatever. And she was like, I didn't let him in. She was like, okay, cool. It was like, I feel like you're still in love with this man. Of course she is. She's having letting go. She hasn't let go yet. And I don't feel like Zach has fully let go either. You know, um, do I think he want to be with her? Hell no, but he still got a little bit of small parts that's still attached to her. And not just this baby or whoever baby it is. We just don't know. But at this point, um, the mama was like, we like them bad boys and all this stuff. And it's like, Zach ain't no bad boy for one. <laughs> but the mama said, not compared to the ones that I do. I was like, oh, okay. But she was like, what you need to do is you need to write a letter to both Aaron and to Zach telling them exactly how you feel about them, how you feel about the situation. And I was like, for what? And give it to them. Have them come over and read it to them. What? I said, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I said, no, no. It was like, I understand, you know, putting your feelings out there and writing shit down. I understand the, the logic behind it. But in this situation, because sometimes you, you, you do be talking to somebody and, and, and you be like, damn, I wish I would have said this. Or maybe if I would have worded it this way, it would have came out a little bit better. I get that part. But in this situation... Why does she need to write a letter to Zach? Zach said it's over. Zach is, is, is over. It's done with. He's moved on. Okay. The only person that's trying to get with Karen is fucking Aaron. Okay. And that's where she needs to go if that's where she want to go. And that bitch is going to probably, oh my goodness. They're not going to, if Karen and Aaron get together, they will never last because she will get annoyed so quick with that motherfucker because I am annoyed with him beyond annoyed okay i was looking at mama like mama you you need to just sit this one out okay sit this one out <laughs> ain't no letter this not a leah okay four page letter ass this is not gonna happen you know leave that man alone and like somebody said in the comments maybe karen shouldn't have told neither one of them that she was pregnant yet and then you know should I, I feel the same way at this point i feel the same way like you would have caused yourself a whole lot less stress if you would have just kept that shit to yourself and then once you start showing that's once you get like six probably seven eight months then say something about it. i mean that kind of fucked up if you uh, uh, put it out there at that that age or whatever that that time frame but Still like the hospital shit, the paternity shit, them niggas shouldn't really been involved. And I get it that they trying to, or at least one person trying to figure out who the daddy is, but it's too fucking early in the stages. Like give the girl a fucking rest. She can still fucking like, like, like miscarry. She can still miscarry. It's a possibility she can miscarry at this early stage that she's at. And, and, and Aaron is doing too much. He just don't believe in personal space. And I thought it was just with Karen. Bitch, it's with everybody. Because you got Zatima, okay? You know, Fatima and Zach. Fatima was getting ready to go to the gym. And, of course, they had their back and forth about whether or not you're okay with what happened last night. And at first, I had forgot. And then I had to remember when Karen had called her and called her a bitch. And accused her of giving out the number to Aaron and all this shit or whatever. Just being rude as fuck. And she was like, you know, I want to know how you feel. And is you okay and all this stuff. And she like, I'm fine. All right. I'm just going to go to the gym. Didn't want to work. You know, it is what it is. And then she started talking about her family history. 
So now, and we was just talking about this in one of my videos, somebody had mentioned, I think it was either the Zatima video or probably the last sister's video, but either way, somebody said, you know, I like all the Queens men and I just hope Tyler Perry don't take over it because I think Christian Keys, he's the one that was originally um, doing it. Girl, I'm trying to upload my what it is while I'm recording. It's processing, so we shall see. But anyway, and I was like, first of all, I did not know that Christian Keys was actually a producer until I actually looked at the credits for the first season. I was looking up something and I just saw Christian Keys, Christian Keys, Christian Keys. And I was like, okay, cool. But then I saw Tyler Perry. I know it was like Tyler Perry present, um, like in conjunction to whatever all the Kings men, uh, Queens men. They said, I hope he don't take over. I hope he don't take over the show from Christian Keys. And at this point, it feels like maybe that's what's about to happen because, you know, Fatima started telling us all about how she comes from this family that does very bad things and they're gangsta and all of this stuff. And, you know, it's she's she's cousins with this lady, you know, and her cousin was the one that uh, did the shit, got the guys to fuck up Hayden and she wanted to do more, you know, and what I mean by more is she wanted to kill him because you know how Madam is. If you've seen all the Queen's men, she ain't too shy about popping somebody if they need to, okay? If they just breathe wrong, pop, you know, that's just what it is. And if you ain't seen All the Queens Men, it's on BT Plus. It's 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 good. I like it. I like it. I do. I did not think I would, but I actually do. It's better than this shit. But um so of course, Eva Marcellus, if you if if, if you Eva Marcel, you saw the commercial, the preview, where uh, Fatima's going to be introducing her to Andy, you know. So, that's going to be her cousin. Now, she's going to introduce the cousin to Zach. And now, I guess we're supposed to see exactly how come she's so hardcore. Because not only did she have a nigga break her heart the way that he broke her heart and the shit that she had to go through with that relationship. She also grew up in a family of hardcore gangsters, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, um, street people and, 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 and empire, drug empire that's going on and all that shit. And I was just like, <sighs> when it, I, I, certain shows I really do not like when they try to do crossovers because it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And it's like, what are we, what are we accomplishing here? I mean, I guess, I guess all of a sudden, it's too convenient. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So that's explaining why she's so much. Okay. Meanwhile, while they at the gym, Deja, the little girl, if you watch Zatima, that's the new tenant. And she's really trying to get exact. And she's doing any and everything to get exact and to piss Fatima off. And Fatima is allowing her to piss her off. And it's like, damn, girl. The girl knows that she can do anything to get under your skin. And she is doing it. Calm the fuck down. If you're going to beat the bitch ass, beat her ass and get it the fuck over with. Okay? Like, come on. Meanwhile, um, Aaron bring his ass over there talking to Zach. Talking about some, we need to come together. And uh, I was just going to get your number from Gary or whoever to see what's good with you. And, you know, so we can talk about Karen. What the fuck y'all need to talk about? I was with Zach. We don't need to talk. Okay. I, I just wanted to let you know Karen was in the hospital. Okay. And we know that. And at the end of the day, Aaron and Zach have nothing to talk about. Even when it comes to Karen, they have nothing to talk about. Neither one of y'all know if y'all the baby daddies. So what are we? I'm not finna sit down and, and, and kiki with you on the phone or, or talk about a bitch that I really don't fuck with and I don't care about like that. And the only reason why I'm somewhat entertaining her is because I could possibly be a baby father. Okay, that's it. Other than that, and we not even finna find that out until the fetus is showing. <laughs> the fetus feet sticking out, bitch. We ain't finna find a paternity test yet because I have yet to see if they did one. And if they did, we don't even know what the results are. And even if they send it out to the lab. Okay, so it's just like, what, what, what was the purpose of this? And he just did not understand to back the fuck up and get out. Like, why are you doing so much? Why are you doing so much? Like Aaron annoys the fuck out of me. And when Zach said, he said, um, 
he said, I'm going to shoot you a message or something like that. And he said, hold on, don't say nothing about shooting because that time niggas get around you, somebody gets shot. <laughs> Now that shit did make me laugh. That made me laugh because Aaron was like, I said, you can't help but say that that shit was good. That was a good one, bitch. Okay, that was a good one. But I was just like, boy, go the fuck away. I'm not finna sit on the phone and call you talking to girl, get the hell out. And then the way that Fatima, because Zach was a little animated because that's just how Zach is. And like I said, I do feel like he still got some um, little feelings, but not that much. My bad, I had to. Ugh, clear some space, the camera cut off. But anyway, I just don't know why Fatima, like, girl, we get it. I know you have concerns, but you really don't trust him. If you got to keep on asking, do you love Karen? Do you love Karen? Do you love Karen? Bitch, I'm going to be over your ass, okay? Because you know the last time that I was with somebody, he did this to me and he did that. And that's what you feel like. I I'm having flashbacks and I'm, girl... Fatima, you are making me be annoyed with you. It was, the characters was cute at the beginning, but now I'm just kind of over it. Like, either go to fucking therapy and get your shit to fuck together, or just fucking enjoy the bliss that you were supposed to be in with this man that you chose to be with, right? Okay? Like, fuck. It's just getting irritating how fucking, bitch. If you feel like he still love the, man, uh, the girl, why don't you just fucking let the man go? Okay? That's what I just don't understand. And then you were saying her name so goddamn much. He done fucking had a Freudian slip and, 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 and mistakenly called her Karen. And of course, that pissed her off even more. I said, I'm not even going to blame Zach for saying that. Because you were saying her fucking name so fucking much. God damn. That was the episode, y'all. I'm so sorry. It was just irritating. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. I'll see y'all later. Peace.